lateral shift or vertical compression? What is more important in somatic rehabilitation? My name is Dr. Ross Trucininov. I am founder of Science of Massage Institute located in Phoenix, Arizona. And today in this short video, we will discuss importance of the lateral shift for the treatment and uh, rehabilitation of soft tissue abnormalities located in different parts of the human body. So let's look on the basic arrangement of the soft tissue in the human body. First layer is the skin. Then we have subcutaneous tissue. Then we have superficial fascia, which with line of fibrotic bridges connect superficial skeletal muscle to the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Then we have superficial skeletal muscle. Then we have deep fascia, which separates superficial and deep skeletal muscle and line of fibrotic bridges give some fluidity of the movement between the layers. Then we have line of fibrotic bridges which connect deep skeletal muscle to the periosteum and periosteum attached to the bone. So this is basic arrangement of the soft tissue through the human body. We may have one extra or two extra layers of the skeletal muscles, but they all separated by the fascia with fibrotic bridges. What are fibrotic bridges? The picture what you see actually shows fibrotic bridges normally form between palmaris longus and flexor digitorum superficialis on the palmar surface of the forearm. This picture is taken from the article submitted to Journal of Massage Science by the, uh, Dr. Sharkey, anatomist from Ireland. I suggest, by the way, take his course on cadaver study every chance you have because uh, it is extremely valuable uh, study for the therapy. If we will look on the basic idea of massage therapy education, from the massage therapy school to different continuing education classes, you were proposed and suggested to have vertical approach to the therapy. Vertical approach gives you ischemic compression, you apply deep tissue therapy, all of that direct you in the vertical mode. However, the vertical application of pressure in any form does not have a lot of uh, therapeutic outcome because the solution for the uh, soft tissue pathology is a restoration of the fluidity of the movements between the layers. Because when we're walking, running, jumping, skin slides against the fascia, fascia with skeletal muscle sliding against the deep skeletal muscle, they're sliding against the periosteum, everybody moving in the different degree against each other within normal application of the movement. The major problem with any somatic abnormalities is adhesions or scarifications which form between the layers. Now the skin became glued to superficial fascia. There is lost mobility between the superficial and deep skeletal muscles. So now only lateral shift allows you to eliminate tension built between the layers and decompress line of fibrotic bridges which hold layers together. From that point of view, vertical pressure used only as a tool every time you need to add lateral shift. Because lateral shift allows you to restore mobility in the horizontal plane between the layers of the soft tissue, restore normal flexibility and fluidity of the movement, and that will give you restoration in the range of motion. Range of motion is not restored by the passive stretch or uh, by uh, range of motion only. Restoration of fluidity between the layers allows to do that. That's why different medical massage methods and techniques target different layers and levels of the soft tissue arrangement. What you can do for the skin, you are not doing for the skeletal muscle and vice versa. And we have to agree on basic principle. What skin can do, skeletal muscles cannot. What skeletal muscles can do, fascia unable to do. That's why each type of the soft tissue requires its own treatment option. We cannot treat soft tissue as a bulk. 
that is the major problem with incorrect suggestion of the treatment option. Since everybody moving against everyone, therapists have to have enough expertise to detect restriction not in the range of motions, but restriction in the movement between the layers of the soft tissue. When that is eliminated, that is foundation for successful somatic rehabilitation with the stable clinical result. So let us know what you do about uh, uh, lateral shift and vertical pressure and leave your comments in the video below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's work together to bring your practice to the new level of medical massage application. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's see each other soon. Thank you.